show my beautiful rosebuds of course it's your favorite rosebud niecy k and yeah i'm not coming with an easy video today um so gonna go ahead and get through this because it is a little bit rough i have been a fan since the beginning since before he was big and now yeah he was a big part of my music collection and i'm still gonna listen to all his old music but it's gonna be hard without that new music coming from him but all right guys let's go ahead and get into this video you guys saw the title this is going to be about how Nipsey Hussle was shot and killed and it was at his store, the Marathon store. Um, this happened last Sunday and there were other two people, there were also two other people who was shot and injured. Um, of course, one person was pronounced dead at the hospital and it was later confirmed to be Nipsey Hussle. Now, what actually being reported as what's happening because i know it's been a minute since i've posted on this and i haven't even really been posted on instagram because it's just kind of hit me hard and i kind of messed me up a little bit but this it, it's being reported that this is over an altercation with a 29 year old eric holder of the rolling 60 cribs so him and nipsey were a part of the same set However, in this particular situation, while they knew each other, there was a issue where pretty much it looks like allegedly on paper, Eric was an informant. And you know, as that goes, he's considered a snitch. And because he was considered a snitch, the city had decided, the, pretty much the hood decided he was not welcome in the hood no more because you know how most hoods feel about snitches that's not just gonna work out again guys different videos same thing i'm smoking my black so yeah it's not gonna work out so they outed him from the neighborhood now i'm not sure why he came back while he was out from the neighborhood but allegedly he came back and he came to Nipsey Hustle store, the marathon, and Nipsey was out there with his people and they were having a conversation and talking. And when he came up, Nipsey pretty much kind of had words with him and was pretty much, I'm pretty sure if you guys have heard um, or watched any other videos on this, you've heard the um, like, you know, conversations and things that have been coming out. But pretty much Nipsey was like, what are you doing around here? Like he didn't like, they said he wasn't rude about it or anything to that nature, but he did pretty much let it be known, like, hey, hey, you know, you, you, you a known informant, you a snitch, so I can't have you around, like, I can't be around you like that, you can't be in front of my store, and like, you know, pretty much in a nice way asked him to leave and supposedly this dude because he was in his feelings and he was trying to get his name back good which i don't in my right mind understand how you would think shooting nipsey hustle was gonna get your name back good in the hood especially when the person you shot was a part of the same crew as you but I digress. Anyway, so I guess he was trying to pretty much put wanted some respect on his name or whatever. And so he pretty much left and went and got a gun and he came back and he pretty much shot Nipsey a total of six times. It was five to the body, one to the head. And if you guys saw the surveillance that ended up recently coming out, you also saw where he pretty much went back and shot him three separate times. And then the last time when he shoots him in the head, he also kicks Nipsey in the head while he's down, which was very hard to watch. Now, of course, this dude jumped into a um, white Impala allegedly and it was driven by an unidentified woman and they sped off after the shooting happened and 
they're on a manhunt for this dude now i had seen a video and if i can grab a clip from the video i'll post it where pretty much dude is coming out saying that he innocent and he ain't do it and he even sit here talking about how he was in las vegas when allegedly all this went down and how he's actually flying he was pretty much like i guess on snapchat or whatever it was live whatever pretty much recording himself heading back so that he can go ahead and i guess relinquish himself or turn himself into the police and give his statement and how his uh, lawyer is telling him to stay low and all this other stuff i don't know all the deets about the situation and again like i said if i can uh, get a snippet of that all that happening on the clip i will post it but that's what's happening there now what's also happening and i honestly myself i understand where a lot of people are coming from when they sit here and they say oh well stop with the conspiracy theory and this was a situation where it was because like a lot of people say gang related a lot of people say it's not technically gang related because they were a part of the same set it was more of a personal situation guess man um was upset that his um manhood was tested and he pretty much got called out because nipsey pretty much was like you can't be around me but I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna speak on this. And like the reason I'm speaking on this is because as I said, I'm not saying that what do is saying is true. Like people make up shit all the time. But if he can produce receipts and back up the fact that he was in Los Angeles, like he was talking about, then, you know, other things that could come into play. <laughs> and at the same time, it would make Nipsey's hood look bad at, because like there's supposedly witnesses coming out saying that it was this dude which is why I personally feel like it's nine times out of ten is a dude but if you know came out it wasn't <laughs> it would make the hood look bad because a lot, if you're coming out saying that he is the dude and, and, you, and stuff like that and then it's like he's able to prove it he, it wasn't him he was there then like y'all was in on a setup is what it looks like but that's why I said not saying that's what's happening this is all allegedly but let me go ahead and get into the conspiracy theory that's been you know roaming around out here in these youtube streets so what actually was happening is before nipsey was shot and killed he was actually working on a documentary regarding dr cb and pretty much was trying to um the documentary was going to be on the trial dr cb had with the state as well as the federal and uh and courts and he actually won his case when he was saying that he actually um cured hiv and cancer and sickle cell and all these other things which i'm familiar with dr cb i've heard about dr cb I know about his teachings. I've researched him a little bit here and there. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with him. So it seemed like Nipsey was trying to get that information out there to the public about Dr. CB and his practices, his teachings. And so there is a clip and I'm going to post the clip for you guys to hear um, where pretty much when nipsey was at a radio station and he was speaking on this um documentary and it was brought up he said if they take your boy out y'all better ride for me so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna play that clip and i will be right back he just died mysteriously down I there you know yeah. what i mean yeah and so you know how they play Oh, yeah. You know, niggas between me, hustle, be careful, man. You ain't gonna go down. I say, niggas better ride for me. Yeah, dude, yeah, that's what me. I'm saying. Don't, don't break it. You know, niggas between me, hustle, be careful, man. You ain't gonna go down. I say, niggas better ride for me. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. Don't, don't break it. You know, niggas between me, hustle, be careful, man. You ain't gonna go down. I say, niggas better ride for me. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. 
all right guys so y'all just watched that clip um so again i'm not saying that it's a conspiracy thing i am just actually speaking on all aspects because of course we do know i am somewhat of a conspiracy theorist uh, when it comes to certain things so i in this situation it does seem that this was more of a personal beef but like i said i'm gonna speak on both sides so that both perspectives are out there of course but what it seems like is happening is people are jumping on the narrative that the big pharmaceutical and the government might have put a hit out on nipsey due to the fact that nipsey was going to put this documentary out where it was going to talk about uh dr cb and pretty much get people's ear open to dr cb now a lot of people were coming out and they were saying that this didn't have anything to do with a documentary and or dr cb and people need to jump off of it and this that, and the other which i i can understand exactly where they're coming from in that particular situation however like i said because i, I am somewhat of a, a conspiracy theorist i can see where people it's <laughs> you know let's let's be real like the government has their hands in the dirty side of politics like th this country is ran with a government that does have corruption it is not pure and it is not purely about the people so of course big pharmaceutical companies would not want it out about Dr. CB and his um, research and his pretty much his his findings, because then it's gonna get people who might not who be who's tired of taking pills or tired. You know, you have your people who are addicted, things to that nature, and so they are going to turn towards an alternative where it's proven to work, and they don't have to take pills. Because if you think about it, when it comes to when it comes to taking pills, it's a it, you are it's supposed to pretty much help solve one issue. But with solving that one issue, it causes like two or three more. If you know what I'm saying, so then you got to take a pill for that. You got to take a pill for that and that and that. So it adds up, and you can end up like being a person who was taking like buku pills when in reality all you would have to do is if you you know tried it look into dr cb's um findings do your research on it and and, and follow it and uh use his teachings and if it helped you you wouldn't need to take pills anymore now some people are like he was just going to be talking about the um the um when when he won his case not about his teaching but what people don't understand is word of mouth because him bringing up the fact that he did in 1985 win a case against not just the state but the the federal government and prove that he cured hiv prove that he cured cancer prove that he cured sickle cell then people are going to like of course he's not going into detail explaining everything that dr cb did but he's putting it out there that hey here's another method here's an alternative teaching here's an alternative doctor who put the the testing and, and, and did it and was able to cure this go research him go look him up and then it's gonna have a lot of people turning and looking towards dr sebi and it could be cb i'm sorry um and trying to see like if they follow his teachings will it work for him and then the more people going to the alternative treatment the less people taking prescription drugs the less people taking prescription drug means the less money big pharmaceutical companies get so why would they want that information even being like suggested or like why would they want like the door to peek open with even if it's not a lot just a little bit of information that's going to cause people to look because now at this particular point you could be affecting their pocket.
Now another thing that is adding fuel to this uh, windmill of the conspiracy theory that's going around is that before Nipsey Hussle was murdered, he did come out with a tweet where he pretty much stated having strong enemies is a blessing. Now I personally myself don't know if he would be speaking in terms of, oh, having, um, having, Eric Holder as an enemy is a blessing because with this dude he wasn't like this huge dude he wasn't this known dude or anything like that in fact this man was an informant so pretty much he he would be considered a nobody in my opinion to Nipsey Hussle and what also people are bringing up that it can't it can't happen because you, you know the situations you, there's situations where you can't explain it but literally um it like i said it's being advised that this dude is an informant that's what they're saying he's an informant if this dude is an informant and his paperwork shows that he done snitch and he done told you feel me that means that he already in cahoots with the laws he's already in cahoots with the police so let's be real the government they're all they all work together you know what i'm saying so if you're in cahoots with the police you're in cahoots with the, like the government like the politicians and stuff they can pull rank hit up the chief police hey we need this to happen woo -de -woo. they sit there and look in their database who do we got woo -de -woo. yada 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 they hit the person that they feel that will be able to get it done or they can you know throw under the bus hey either you do this or you looking at going to jail for A, B, C, D and your life is gone. And so, of course, the person's already in cahoots. So ugh, they gonna do what they gotta do because they've already been known to snitch and, and, and tell and, and pretty much be grimy to get themselves out of trouble when they go down for their wrongdoings. Now, call up dude, hey, either you go and you take this hit out on Nipsey or you go to jail for X, Y, and Z and we make sure that you're buried under the jail cell where you will never get out. Dude probably gonna do it. Like, let's just be real. And let's, say, let's not sit here and act like something like this can't happen because like a legend I can understand why there's people who have this theory in their mind that this is a conspiracy theory and that this has to do with the Dr. CB documentary he was working on, especially because the interview that you guys heard prior where he said, if they try to take me out, y'all ride for me. Plus, yeah, I let's just be real. Cause there was people who even came out and was like, we need to protect him. Like days when it came out that he was doing a documentary days before he was killed. So, it is what it is now of course there were some people who were trying to portray as they did it and there was a live that was going around um i have that live but i'm not really gonna add the live because it's allegedly this isn't even the person who is the suspect so this person was just looking for clout and like you are a horrible person to sit here and try to get clout off of a death of somebody who was so important and so major in the community and in the culture and helping our people like you are horrible now allegedly there has already been some retaliation that was going on hopefully that has calmed down because i am pretty sure nipsey would not want retaliation within the hood going on especially when it's just one person who caused this whole thing like why take out people who ain't have nothing to do with the situation you get what i'm saying now there has been um allegedly put out there that eric holder um nickname <laughs> this is the craziest nickname but like whatever uh shitty cuz um it's green light on him right now where like you know if dude better hope that the police get him because if the streets get him he is gone he's dead he, he did the unthinkable like you you took out somebody who 
like you took out somebody who did you no wrong you just got in your feelings and you got hurt and all of your emotions because dude called you out on the fact that you know them papers show that you told and when you live in that type of lifestyle when you're supposed to be in that type of lifestyle one of the one of the commandments is you don't snitch you don't snitch not saying that it's like the best commandment or it's right or anything like that but if you want to be a part of that life that is one of the rules and when you were known to be a snitch you were oust you were outcast like you lucky they didn't do to you what i like you know like literally like i've heard stories of like snitches being taken out because they were a snitch so when you want to live that lifestyle like there is rules and regulations and if you can't abide by the rules and regulations it's best you don't live that lifestyle because all you're doing is setting yourself up for failure like dude should be happy that they even spared his life and that he was just known around the city as being a snitch and that he wasn't allowed to come back that that's that's what from what i gathered happened to do like that's that's all that happened to him so he done hold on guys He done made the situation worse for himself by getting his ego bruised and getting all of his feelings and coming at Nipsey the way he did. Like, if you were trying to set an example, Nipsey was the wrong person to try to set that example with. And you all the way are a fucking fuck boy. Like, you a bitch. Like, I can't believe you would even do something like that. Like, especially to a nigga that was in your set. That was yo set. Like, what is wrong? I'm not gonna go on a rant about this, guys. Like, this is just senseless. This just doesn't make no sense. I don't even understand. I will never understand. Like, dude is a straight up bitch. Like, you should have just dealt with the fact that you were a snitch, and and, and, and took your ass on and, and 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 lived your life, and just be happy with the fact that you were able to live your life. But no, instead you got to sit here and try to act like you all tough and this big ass and, and you that nigga and you're really not. And you're going to sit here and take out somebody who was doing so much for the community and was like actually like putting in work in the community, trying to build up the community, trying to better the community, like giving jobs, like taking care of the people. Like this man was taking care of the people, something that you can't do, you little bitch. You can't do that. And so, no, because you was a hothead and you was jealous at the fact that you know in the, in the streets as a snitch and you ain't got the respect, you going to sit here and you going to shoot Nipsey. Like, you a hoe. You a whole hoe ass bitch. Just, just, just in general. You a whole hoe ass bitch. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this video because I don't want to get mad and go off and i don't want to cry or anything so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go on to the next subject i'm gonna get off this video I want you guys to go ahead and comment let me know how you guys feel what do you guys think of this situation do you feel that it's a conspiracy theory going on uh and that like the government is involved in this or do you feel that this is more of a situation where it was just a personal vendetta with somebody that nipsey knew that's more I'm leaning more towards this was a personal vendetta against Nipsey Hussle. But hey, like if there's more information that comes out, there's possibility that that's not the situation. Maybe I'll reconsider what I feel on this situation. Right, guys? Why don't you go ahead, like, comment, subscribe go ahead and hit that notification bell so that when i upload more videos you guys are alerted and until the next one bye